If you're a React developer, there's a really good chance you've used pieces of the tan stack before. So perhaps things like tan stack query or table, previously React query and React table. These are two really long standing ones. These are all libraries offered by Tanner Lindsley and they make developing React applications a lot easier. Something that is new from tan stack is tan stack start. It's in beta right now and it is a full stack React and solid framework powered by tan stack router. So lots of different things going on here, lots of different individual pieces, but they come together to make tan stack start and it is a framework to be used to create react applications today we're going to take a look at how to use prisma in a tan stack application and really how simple that can be all right so let's take a look here at localhost 3000 i have got this really simple application here just a couple posts being displayed on the screen this is just a very simple blog post application and right now this is just using some static data we can take a look at it here over in index.tsx we've got our home function here which maps up to this index route, this home route. I've got a couple posts just hard coded in there and we are looping over them, displaying them on the screen. So why don't we get things set up with Prisma here so that we can hold our post data, particularly in Prisma Postgres. We'll get set up with that. To get started, let's install some dependencies. We can do npm install as a dev dependency. We'll install the Prisma CLI. Then let's install Prisma client. npm install at Prisma slash client. All right, cool. So those are installed. Let's initialize Prisma and let's say that we want to get a Prisma Postgres database at the same time. MPX Prisma init will pass dash dash DB that tells us we want to get a Prisma Postgres database. All right, it says, let's set up your Prisma Postgres database. We have options for a region. I'll select US East one. The project name here will just be tan stack. All right, so it looks like things are all set up there. Let's take a look at what we've got. We have got our Prisma directory that got generated. We have schema.prisma like we expect. We've got a .env file with a database URL pointing to Prisma Postgres. So that's all set up and ready to go as well. In our schema.prisma file, this is where we can do some work to get our post model in. So what we'll do first actually is let's remove dash JS here. This comes by default, the Prisma client dash JS generator. But as a Prisma 6.6, .6, there's a new one, which is Prisma dash client. It's a bit more flexible and it bundles things up into two TypeScript files, which we'll see in just a second. We want an output directory that goes up into app and then generated slash Prisma. So that looks good there. Next, let's get our post model. model post and then we'll have some typical stuff that we would see on a post model which would just be our id title content etc all right so that looks good let's migrate the database now to see if we can get this into our database and get some content on the screen all right mpx prisma migrate dev the name for the migration can just be init all right, cool. So it looks like things are migrated. If we take a look in the generated directory here, we've got client TS and we have got index TS. So just two really simple TypeScript files if we're using the Prisma client generator like this. Again, that's as of Prisma 6.6 .6 that we get that option. And that gives us a much simpler way to bundle up all of the things that we need to go into our packaged application. All right, so let's take a look at the Prisma console now. Let's go over here to console.prisma.io. We'll go over to studio. And in studio here, we've got our post model that came through. Okay. We've just got that one model. So things are looking good there. Let's add a couple of records to get started with. So that should be a UUID. We'll just fake it out with a number for now. My first post can be that. My first post content can be there. Let's create that. All right. So now let's see how to call into our database from tan stack start. Let's work within this index file here for our main route. We might want to abstract some of this away into another file later, but it can be fine just existing here for now. Let's start by importing Prisma clients. That is going to come from generated slash Prisma. Then we can get our Prisma client instance. We can do const Prisma equals a new Prisma client. And then with TanStack, we'd want to do something like this, where we are going to do a get post function, which is going to use create server function. Let's bring that in. That comes from TanStack react start. And essentially this is giving us something on the server that can be called, which is going to then go to Prisma to find our posts. What we then do is down here in our route definition, so the create file route function, we're going to give ourselves a loader. And that loader is going to call get posts. And with that data available when this route loads, what we can do is get rid of our fake posts here, and we can instead choose to use that loaded data. That looks like this, we do const posts, equals data. So the route itself is going to contain some data that is fetched on the server side. These posts then become available to us on the front end. 
All right, so let's save this and then we'll go and check it out over in the browser. So if we get back over to the application there, there we go, my first post. That is coming from Prisma Postgres and we can take a look at adding a new post to see it coming through on the screen. Let's do that. So we'll do ID number two, my second post, my second post content. We can go there, let's save that. Back over in our application, we'll refresh, and there we go, my second post is coming through. So very simply, we've connected to Prisma Postgres. We've just initialized Prisma, said we want a Prisma Postgres database with it. That gets initialized very quickly. And we're able to add just a few lines of code to get ourselves our data on the screen by calling into Prisma. So if you'd like to get even more info on how to work with TAN Stack Start and Prisma together, we've got a full guide in our documentation. We'll link that in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, we'd love if you'd hit subscribe. That'll help us to get you more great Prisma content. And if you want to join the conversation, we'll drop a link to our Discord as well. You can also reach out to us on the web at prisma.io or on x slash Twitter. We're at Prisma there. Thanks for watching.